iPhone 16 Pros are almost here and I'd say we're about a month or so away from getting the reveal of the 16s and 16 Pros. I wanted to kind of go over some of the rumors and stuff that they're speculating and give you my thoughts on it all. There are quite a bit in the sense of changes, not even so much for the 16 Pros, but also the regular models getting some fairly good upgrades as well. So these are just rumors. These aren't confirmed, obviously. Some of these may be true, some of them may not be. Some of them may even be for the 17s that come out in 2025. So we'll have to wait and see with that. But these are rumors that are coming from Mac rumors and usually they're pretty correct. I got my laptop here in front of me. So if you see me looking down, that's why I'm kind of going over some of them. Uh, some of them I know and some of them for the first time with you guys. So we're gonna give this a bit of a go and give it my thoughts on how I feel on some of these. And already with the first one, with the screen size, I'm not sure why, but let's talk about it real quick. So they're saying that the pros are gonna be getting an upgrade to screen size. I'm not sure if that's the regular ones as well. I haven't found any sources of that. I think those might be staying. I'm not sure, although I can't see why they would because that would be considered its mini version and they kind of discontinued that. So I think this would apply to even the regular ones as well. But for instance, the Pro Max is gonna go from 6.7 to 6.9. It doesn't seem like a lot, I understand that and kind of wondering maybe why. And it's probably just to be able to add some things on like a bigger battery and some other features, maybe with the camera. And of course the rumored uh, shutter button that we'll get into. But already this phone, I find my Pro Max is is a good size you know even if it was you know yay bigger or so i don't know if i would necessarily want that i mean it's obviously it's not that much of a difference so it's not going to matter too much but it's still kind of enough to be like how big do we need phones to be these days like i'm already very happy with what i have right here and obviously the same thing just for the regular 16 pros those are going to be going from 6.1 to 6.3 again that's a nice size 6.3 a little bit bigger kind of a sweet spot but are we getting too big with the maxes? I don't know. I understand it's the Pro Max, but at what point are we gonna just be like good with the size we have? Because I don't really wanna be holding a tablet around at some point. Now speaking of size, this might have to do with the new lens technology. There's rumored to be a micro lens technology in the display of the 16 Pros. This would obviously improve peak brightness and also could help reduce glare in sunlight. I do know that a lot of Samsungs have obviously higher peak brightness and have a lot of this technology already in them and iPhones don't. And I've seen that in some Samsungs where in extreme brightness and glariness of lights and stuff, it's not as bad. It looks pretty good. And the iPhone still has that glare issue a bit. So this micro lens technology could really help with that glaring. And also with new display technology that could help save on battery because they can be more efficient, which leads us to the battery on these things. Finally, we're seeing somewhat of a good upgrade of battery improvements. I don't think the 14 had it. I know the 15 definitely didn't have it. And now we're finally seeing some battery upgrades for some better life. I haven't had too much of an issue with my 15 Pro as far as battery, but that's a whole other topic for the video. But for the Pros, there'll be a bit of a 10% increase in battery. And that's because it's supposed to be an updated stainless steel casing for the battery that could allow for higher energy density. Now, again, I'm not sure if this is for all models. I believe that this would be. I can't see them taking a hit on the regular 16 models. Those are still obviously a big seller. And so this is probably gonna be the same thing for each one. Obviously the Pro Maxes are a bigger phone, so they have a bigger battery to begin with, so that's just gonna get up to even more, and then going down the line from there. So one thing we do kind of know is that the design of these phones isn't really changing, which is kind of a bummer, but I think we're gonna see a really big significant change come the 17s. We're definitely due for something new and fresh. Uh, it's tough, you know, they, they try and claim that, you know, a new titanium build is new and, you know, they've rounded the edges a bit on the 15s and the bezels are thinner. And yes, they're gonna make the bezels even thinner from what we're hearing on the 16s, which is pretty crazy and cool, but also they're adding in another button. So before we had the action button from last year's 15s that we got, and now we're gonna be adding in a capture button, which by the way, I should mention, the action button is rumored to be coming to the regular 16 models as well. So that's pretty cool. But I believe this capture button, they're saying it's gonna be for all phones. And I have a hard time believing that since I feel like, again, this is another like action button feature type thing where it's gonna be a bigger seller on the Pro models and making the Pro models really stand out from the regular 16s. So I do believe, on my personal opinion, this will be pros only. And this capture button is pretty much like a shutter button on a main camera. 
where you can hold down a little bit, not all the way, and it might start focusing, and then a full click would obviously capture the shot. So it's kind of cool to think about if you're holding your phone like this, you could just go right here as about where the button would be, and you would just click down, and that's where you would do your photos, just like this, which is very comfortable. I mean, it's never been too much of an issue for me having to use my thumb anyways and click it like, you know, like that, like not been a big issue or deal. But I think it could be pretty cool being able to just have another button right there. Yes, we have been able to use these volume buttons here, but I find if I'm holding it like this and I go to click down, well, this hand is kind of in the way and then I kind of maybe got to do it like this a bit more, which is a little more awkward, but you know, it, it's tough to say. Again, is it kind of a gimmick feature to some sense? Yeah, they're really trying to push for different things and devices now to really make them stand alone. I just personally feel that most devices these days, the things that really stand them apart is really just like, software base, you know, usability, functionality in that sense. And for the longest time, even with the 15s, I've always wondered, why do we need these chips that are like super fast, like compared to like some computers, like keeping up to that extent? And I'm going, it's a phone. What am I possibly doing on my phone that I need the newest and bestest chip to get me through my day of texting or phone calls or maybe minor video editing here and there. I understand maybe it helps for things like when you are processing videos to do larger files with 4K, we have log on there as well. I understand those things, but I believe I understand it now because like we were just saying about software, the AI coming out in the new iOS 18 makes sense because that's only available for iPhone 15 Pro models and then obviously the 16s and 16 Pros and those come out. So we're obviously gonna be getting the A18 chips in these new 16 phones and chips do really help with helping power and preserving battery life and utilizing of the phone and obviously now with the ai it's going to really help with that as well using it more efficiently learning you and your phone better so this i understand why we're upping the chips and everything and why they need to be so fast because this kind of makes sense to me and like i previously said it could help with thermal improvements on the phone because that was a big issue. So other than those things that we've talked about, we've talked about battery life, we've talked about screen, we've talked about new chips coming out, the new sizes for them, all those things. Let's get to the last main big feature for the pros and that's the camera. So as we know right now on the iPhone 15 Pros, we only have one 48 megapixel camera. That is the main wide one. Then we have our telephoto and our ultra wide. Rumors are saying that now the ultra wide is gonna have 48 megapixels as well. So we'll have two cameras at 48 megapixels, which is fantastic. I do love that ultra wide a lot and I'm happy to see that we're gonna be getting that 48 megapixels on it. Telephoto isn't gonna be touched for that. I guess they're probably gonna be moving that to the iPhone 17s and then they'll upgrade that telephoto to 48 megapixel, which I get it. They need something to add each year, so fair, I guess. But the new telephoto lens could be getting an even higher zoom capability. The current telephoto lens is equivalent to about 77 millimeters of a, like a regular lens, if that makes sense from a camera. Now they're saying that this like super lens or super zoom lens, telephoto lens, whatever you want to call it, that could be rumored, could be the equivalent focal length of 300 millimeters. I'm not sure about that to be exactly with you. I don't think that would be the case, but I could be wrong. You know, right now we have it going up to, for phone reference, five times zoom. I believe we're gonna see it go up to 10 times zoom. And I also see that the quality and the clarity could be a little better, even though they're not touching the megapixel size of this. Now, I don't use my phone a lot for the zoom photos, but it is nice to have there when needed. So I actually am really excited for this and I'm not too concerned about it not being 48 megapixels. It's gonna be just fine the way it is. And to quickly note, for the regular 16s, the camera layout will be different. It's gonna be going back to kind of like the iPhone 10s, to be a bit of a vertical layout instead of kind of diagonal from each other. The iPhone 16's Pros and Pro Max, like we just talked about, the camera layout is gonna generally stay exactly the same. I don't think there's any changes happening to that. There's also rumors saying that there could be a slightly upgraded microphone for the cameras. I think that this might use a bit of AI recognizing voice and enhancing that kind of stuff. So that'll be interesting to see, but I think that could be more software based than really hardware based. I mean, yes, you can put in a better microphone, I guess, on it for capturing audio, but we'll have to see what that looks like when we get to it. Storage wise for these phones, I think they could be upping the max from one terabyte to two terabytes but for the base model of storage i think it's going to stay at 256 for the pro max and 128 maybe for the pro would be nice to see if they could up the pro even to 256 and then maybe up the max a little more especially considering the log footage that these can now take take up a ton of room that might be usable that if i'm buying a pro or a pro max i'm clearly going to be wanting to use 
said feature, so allowing me to do so with recording it internally and saving it there would be really nice. So overall, not a whole lot new because the design isn't gonna be crazy new thing and changing everything. I mean, we could be blown away. These could all be totally false and all of a sudden Apple could come out and it's a whole new design. We don't exactly know. This is just based off of speculation, just like I said, from Mac rumors and where other people are getting sources from. And usually this has been pretty accurate over the years. So we'll have to see when the day actually comes when the Apple event is here. I'll be sure to let you guys know of everything new with it when it's out. I'm hoping maybe live stream it, but I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. Obviously on that day as well, we're gonna be getting a uh, new Apple Watch, Apple Watch Series 10. That's a whole nother video again, because that could be a whole new redesign for the Apple Watch, but we'll have to see. And guys, I have my first partnership sponsored video coming to you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys made it all the way to the end, I am super grateful for every one of you for being here. Uh, my channel has been growing exponentially and I am super grateful for all of you who come here uh, to share your thoughts in the comments below because sometimes I'm not exactly right on all the things that I say and my opinions. And there's a lot of times you guys come in on the comments and just blow me away with your knowledge. I'm like, yes, pin this comment, people need to know about this more. And so keep commenting your thoughts and, and what you guys think and then correct me if I am wrong in any way on anything, that's totally fine. I'm not a genius in this world, but uh, I hopefully I can give you guys some sort of information and get you guys excited for the new the new iPhones. Cause I mean, if you're here, we like we like our phones. They're not, they're not saying iPhones are the best phones in the world, but we like we like our Apple stuff, some of us. Let's, let's be real, it's what we do. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.